And I was like, yeah, maybe in a couple of years you want to watch this video again. She was like, no, why? <laughs> <sighs> now I know. Yeah, now you know. Today's video is a very special one about a very, very special day and a very special story. It all started out in the morning, just a usual vacation day. Another day here in the south of France. It's, what is it, 10, 11, 10, 30? No, 10, 30, I think. It's already warm. We explored the market a little, got some food, a totally normal standard day, nothing really special. Right? Right. Yeah, at least that is what she was thinking at that moment in time, a not special day. I emphasized that the entire day I was always like a normal day, not special, not special in any kind of way. It was really funny standing by the pool and like her being in the background, not knowing anything, suspecting a normal day and me planning what to do, how to pull it off. After relaxing a lot at the pool, the biggest challenge was then really to make it a good day without doing it like in a too suspicious way. So again, we sat down in the car, I asked her, totally normal day, nothing special, just a fun vacation day. She was like, yes, so we headed over through like, I think an hour of driving to the beach. That was the time where I started like, yeah, not panicking or freaking out, but I, I got like, I got nervous and I was like worried she might actually notice anything. I was checking in the car every five minutes uh, on the back seat in my backpack if, if I still had the box with me. <sighs> I went nuts, but I, I tried to keep it cool and just act normal just at the beach, just relaxing, watching the scenery and like trying to stay calm. We headed over to Marseille, which is a beautiful city. I've never been there, she's never been there. And I thought, why not like this beautiful city at the beach, sunset? And I was asking her like, what about that spot up there? It looks cool, it looks beautiful. Wouldn't it be nice like watching the sunset there? Would that be something you're interested in? And she was like, yes, that looks like a good spot. Not knowing that she actually picked herself the spot where it will happen. That was like the moment where I thought she might actually suspect something. I was just like at the point where you picked the spot for the sunset, yeah. kind of. That was smart, right? Yeah, but it was smart, but I didn't realize anything. It was just Nothing. like, well, should we go up there? And I was, yeah. Let's do it. Okay, that was good. And then like the dinner, did you suspect anything there? Nothing. I, I felt that at some point you were a bit weird during the day <laughs> and I, I kept asking you, are you okay? Yeah, I was I was <laughs> like, I was nervous. I just wanted to like not get over with it, like, but like be through, like not be nervous about it anymore. But I thought I need to wait for the perfect moment. Okay. So dinner was over. And the waiter was already, yeah, the sun already set, forget about it. It's like, but I also... So sad. Yeah, it was really I, I sad. I felt so sorry for you, but I, I didn't understand why you were so upset. Yeah, you were probably like, why is he so upset about missing the sunset? <laughs> I was really upset. And yeah, the waiter said, no, it's like, don't forget it. It's it's already gone. And it was, it was gone. Like, the, it was still bright, but the sun was already below the horizon. And then I was like, in my head, okay. You either pull through or you just come up with another plan. And I was like, no, you have you have to do it as you plan it, because otherwise you will hate yourself for not doing it. So I was like, Vanessa was on the phone with her parents and I was like, come on, fast, fast, fast. We need to get a cab. I was like, what's the problem? <laughs> yeah. And then we took a cab up the, the hill, the mountain, to that church, not sure, dumb, whatever. And then the, the cab driver was like, yeah, if, if you want to, I can wait here like 10 minutes and take you down again, because you won't find another cab. And I was like, no, 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 no. We don't, we need longer. Don't I need was a cab. like, yes, you can wait. <laughs> yeah, and when I, saw, I was like, no, no, wait, like 10 minutes max and we're done. I was like, no, no, no longer. Then we walked like up, Vanessa like five meters behind me, 
being like, hey, can we just stop here and it's, it's good. I don't want to go up all the way. I was like, no, up the, all the way. Did you suspect anything there then? Yes. No, I just figured you want to film like a nice scenery or anything. Okay, so yeah, I, I kind of, I had to pull Vanessa up all the way there. <laughs> um, and I was so like hectic, like I just wanted to, to like make it special and perfect. So uh, I placed Vanessa right at the very top, right? Right in the middle, good view over the entire city. And, and there was still the sun. Yeah, there was still sun. Like I even, I, I took my camera and was like, hey Vanessa, does this still count as a sunset? She was like, yeah. Yes. <laughs> and I was like, okay, now, now that's the moment. <sighs> it worked. <laughs> You're now officially allowed to congratulate us. Vanessa is speechless. Yeah. You want to show them something? Do I? Yes, please. <laughs> there it is. Now the entire day makes sense, right? <laughs> I was so stressed the entire day. <laughs> and I was like filming with the drone and she was like, no one cares. No one cares. And I was like, yeah, maybe in a couple of years you want to watch this video again. She was like, no, why? <laughs> <sighs> now I know. Yeah, now you know. Anyways, I think that's it for today.